ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ghost Trick. Last time, we successfully didn't really save Camilla, um, and in fact, we may have met who I think may be the final boss of the game, because twice now she has sensed us being nearby. So I, I'm having a feeling that at some point I'm going to have to somehow save Camilla without getting close to her, which will be really interesting. Um, now, of course, we run into the problem of how the hell do we convince the minister that his daughter is safe? Um, and do we even do that if Camilla might be put in danger? Because the kidnappers don't know that they have the wrong person. They may kill Camilla anyway. So, very curious where this will go, and very... We know that Jowd was accused of killing his wife in front of Camilla. There, the big question is, we, we now also know that it had nothing to do with Jowd whatsoever, and he apparently took the fall in order to keep Camilla from getting implicated, although again, I'm not really sure why she would have been, because it would seem like a very, very simple mistake. I got back to Justice Minister's office. Things are getting more out of hand. To say the man was being grilled by the fire detective lady. Kitty, please. Told Lynn what I found out with kidnappers. It wasn't just as a mother daughter had been abducted. Come here, Kitty. Kidnappers have been holed up in Camilla's old house. And they sensed my presence and were already gone. But why do they have Camilla? Well, because you told her to go to the chicken it is your fault, Lynn. Completely your fault. Not That's completely... Uh, I'm actually glad that Lynn is not blaming herself, because that's normally what seems to have, would have happened in an RPG. It's going to be, oh my god, if I hadn't... Ah, uh, shut up, Lynn. <laughs> that's always been something that bugged me very slightly, is when people just immediately take the fault for things that are very obviously not their fault. Her father's the stupid old justice minister? I don't. I don't at all. I think the stupid old part's a little uncalled for. So the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor kidnapped for a ransom of her own father's execution. It's it's just too much. Yeah, it's too cruel to afraid, I agree. And there's other twists too. The kidnappers winding up and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. Yeah, there's no way that could just be a coincidence. And apparently, um, Cecil is the one that told them to go there. Which, again, what did Cecil have to do with Jow? Because, obviously, Jow was painting a picture of Cecil. There's, there's some connection between the two of them. And, apparently, you know, did Cecil set up the... Why would he do that? I, 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 I swear I'm playing as a villain, except I can't remember that I'm a villain. And I'm sensing my presence. I seem to know about the powers of the dead. I, I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, Detective. I want you to stand back. <laughs> Who kept a distant sound like this? Look, Mr. Minister, wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped? Don't try and... Oh my god, cat. Don't try and pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. How, how can I believe... I'm a realist. Well... <laughs> how could you not believe me? You're hearing me. She's gonna break that desk eventually. Calm down, Lynn. If you don't believe what we say, just come for see if you call home and. I, I tried calling her. My wife won't answer. It's complicated. I, I always feel sorry for this guy. He's like basically having to admit in front of, um, you know, a detective and a ghost that his marriage is in shambles. So I think he's one of the most powerful men in Japan. I assume we're in Japan. Oh, what's up to be such a complicated thing? But she doesn't, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. I, mean, what, I can't have the police go check for me. The execution isn't carried out tonight. The hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if it's on my daughter? That's actually the nicest thing he said. And the same thing, it echoes the sentiment I had earlier. Who the hell is this? Woo-wee, that's quite the pickle. Mr. Minister, quite a pickle. 
Oh, completely wrong voice. <laughs> Miss me, baby? Inspector Camonella! Oh, wait, I'm a fugitive. Shit. I got a little report for, for you, Mr. Minister. Now, here's the question. Is he going to have to arrest Lin too? Because we already knew, know he arrested Jowd because it was the right thing to do. And he does seem weirdly principled. I mean, he, he's principled, but he's also very much, you know, he, he regrets his principality, if that makes sense. Escape prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Well, who'd you think the prisoner was? I, I tried. I know you're innocent. I just can't prove it. <laughs> Lynn. Please, don't apologize to me. Ah, beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye, I do. Time marches on. I'm afraid to see if I can think of something. It's all relates back to me somehow. I just know it. It does, and that's why I'm really annoyed that you don't remember stuff. Here's the question. Okay, I can go to her apartment now. Huh. Like, I'm not sure if I should talk to them or not. Huh? What's going on? That was the one who was kidnapped. This little girl's bed's empty too. Where could you have gone? I has been a situation changed from hour to hour. The lazy outpour of words of love continues to go on without change. I admit I admire her dedication, but I'm worried about her daughter. Okay. Okay, can't go hang out with Missile. I swear she's in there, though. I just swear it. I mean, the, the, that just makes sense. So quiet. Ray? Let's go. Maybe he isn't here anymore. Yeah, I've mostly been ignoring Ray, unfortunately. So he definitely does seem to be no longer in the lamp. Did his time run out? Well, so I should have gone. Come, I, mean, I came back here pretty regularly and talked to him. So to the park. Anything cool happening here? Yep, a whole bunch of nothing here. Super's office. I mean, Cabanella is here. I don't know what I would expect to be there. Although, it's interesting that both the Justice Minister and the Super are having problems with their wives. I don't really know what that means, if anything. Interesting. He's missing, too. Oh, wait. The Super's office, not the... Never mind. The old pension guy decided to go somewhere else. Something very off about this place. Old dusty junk side by side with metal maintained equipment. Going around the city. 
I would love to have ghost pow powers, but unfortunately, uh, you kind of have to be dead first. And that's a pretty harsh pre pre prerequisite. I, I really love the Chicken Kitchen's theme song. It's probably my favorite thing ever. She's on his way over here. What does he want to come now for? Well, since that's all, I might escape the course. Huh, maybe in your shoes right now, Bailey. You're in charge after all. You gonna have to start dancing again? Me? Well, I have to become a prison guard. For taking a job like this, I knew the prisoners might escape. Nope, he's he's not. He's not going to start dancing for me. How rude. I don't think going around the prison is going to help me at all. Since I'm a prison, that's the only the place. That's probably our last chance. He doesn't come here tonight. Like the sound's starting to get to me. Anything to find out? I'm curious. If I come down from the super's office, can I get anywhere here? I have this weird feeling he's waiting for me. I can knock it down though. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm not supposed to do anything here yet. And there should not be anything in the special investigation office because both the chief and Capanella are gone. So this is a wasted trip, but hey, it never hurts to be sure. This room. This is just the footage of me being shot, right? Okay, yeah. Don't need to see that again. <laughs> Nobody likes, like, pouring over images of their own death. It is odd, just the arbitrary nature of what you can and can't interact with. But oh well. To the kitchen. Oh, he's not here. I was on close with the chef. I was the same without his singing. If I come back later, I want to hear him sing again. Interesting, where's the chef gone? The chief is headed out to... Anything to be done here? Nope. Yeah, I can find him outside, although actually that's not outside. That's outside the prison, although I might see the chief there. That's a possibility. And there should be absolutely nothing here because everyone, we know everyone just left this place. 
So it does look like the the game was not expecting me to go out and find information, like I thought it might. Okay. So back to the minister's office. Sorry for that brief detour, but hey, you gotta, you gotta know what's available. You gotta know what you can find out. And I didn't know it, but now I do. My poor Amelie, is she alright? Actually, goes to San Camilla. Why is the dream talking about my head again? Wait, Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yeah, I think so. No, not me. My, it's. Yeah, you're not asking how Lynn can get into your head. Yeah, it better be pretty hard to admit she left him. There's his wife ran away with him. Maybe they grew apart without him being so busy. I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me. It's on my own head. Emily was supposed to get some sort of lesson tonight. This horrible kid, they were lying in wait for her. Emily didn't go out. She couldn't. She had a fever. Apparently, Emily and Camilla are about the same age. She also got the two of them mixed up. If I'd ask Camilla. Oh, god damn it. I was just saying how glad I was you didn't do this. Oh, right. Yes, we're the music box. Wait, that's right. because you left it in the park. I remember that now. I I'm glad that they had that little bit because I had totally forgotten about it. Unfortunately, I don't see anywhere this package could be. She left it somewhere. Okay, so I, obviously I'm not supposed to get that yet, because there's no way I can get out of here. I thought I remember trying that too, so I'm not really surprised that I wasn't able to. Didn't you, Inspector Capanella? The execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? Yeah, you. She's your pet detective. You're about to like lose her forever. She'll never forgive you for almost letting her miss Jow's execution. I mean, you know as well as I do. Jow could never have done such a thing. Come on now, baby. I know no such thing. He's very fact-oriented. I know only two things, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty, and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why'd you bring him here? Whatever do you mean? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. Are all those rumors about you true? The only thing you care about is a spotless record? Or is, is that more important than saving a friend? Everyone's got certain principles they can't go back on. <laughs> Including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But, Detective Jowd! Death Row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. I 
I, I don't think that's actually doing anything. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? Yeah, some kidnappers are saying they abducted the, the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? <laughs> Carrying out a year execution tonight. Which, again, the kidnappers seem to want something from me. And apparently I'm orchestrating his execution. But I don't remember that, so I'm helping him. I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. It's simple. It's not that simple. Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I can't check that for myself. I'm positive. By the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? I'm the one. Who, I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that'll be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. Yeah, for Cable Executive, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It doesn't bring new suffering. The only person's pain this excuse is going to ease is yours. Is it true? What? So this is this is the revelation where all of a sudden we find out that to a certain extent Zhao's a coward. Um, he's trying to just avoid his own pain. Why don't you tell us what you know? Well, to be honest, I don't understand what happened that day. It's my wife Alma's birthday. I came up from work and she went in first. for a shooter, but there's no one to be found. There's no one there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. That's a little lady's mother. What? Well, you know that. You Did we see it? I, I mean, we definitely saw this, but I can't remember the context of which it was seen. Um, because it's not like... I, I, did, I, did I read it from her mind when she was unconscious? I think that's what happened. I, I remember seeing the scene, I just don't remember, like, did Cecil directly see it? So Because I don't understand why he's saying, oh, this happened. Well, of course it happened. You saw what happened. Sort of. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. The contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. It made an impossible move. That's a very interesting word for a, uh, like, eight-year-old to say. Now I don't know more about that. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. There were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right, that was an antique gun I had on display for years. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, right when I first saw it, I thought it had something to do with the powers of the dead. So it wasn't part of the latest original design. Of course it was. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. The other strange point was to move that Cupid. Shoots arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. No time to think about things, though. The only knows how to protect Camilla. A small adjustment to the scene turned myself in. I'll continue this story, because this seems a slightly unrelated, although not really. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. Yeah, there's no gun, just a picture hanging on the wall. But I see this was the gun out, with the f out of that frame for the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. One thing was for certain, that gun was still smoking. I hid the gun before I went to the police. There was a wooden box given to a certain detective. Oh, so that was the thing I tried to find the part but wasn't able to. 
The detector still thinks it's a music box. Got a different word with weapon. Give the police my own pistol. A few other things to make it look good. I won't go into details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no explanation. That's what I would convince everyone, even me. But tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation I would have never thought of before. How was the dead, right? That day, in that room, how was I didn't understand where it worked? That's the case. It clears up all the mysteries. So, you, I would almost think that he was painting a picture of me because I was a suspect to him, but he didn't know about me until tonight. And I was alive until tonight. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Is she dead? Comes to, comes to Camilla knew about those powers. That wife case doesn't come to an end after all. The only one who thought it was. D Detective Jowd! There's still time before dawn. A little, anyway. Yeah, about four hours. But you see this case through to the end before you die. And everyone else in the room is just super confused. They're like, he didn't say anything, psycho. Yeah, of course. In that case, there's still time. Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, detective. And of course, Cam well, Camilla didn't do it either. The true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. That sounds wonderful. Quick, execute the three of us and we can all go around with ghost powers for a while. Not really. It's already been established that neither Lin nor Jowd actually have them, but it would be kind of hilarious. The ghost musketeers. Where's the music box now? How do you know that? I didn't tell you that. In Timsic Park, can I lift it there? You, the part you better go pick it up. See, so take care of Detective Jowd. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get on the minister on our side. Yeah, yet again, I say easy enough for you to say. I'm kind of surprised you just let her go because she is technically a you know felon and is on, on, on the run for suspected of murdering me. What's going on? Deal me and deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. Little change of plans. My daughter's been kidnapped. I can't just go off and die without doing something. But you're in our custody. <laughs> Don't forget. By the prison, everyone's waiting for you with a special seat. Just for you. Yeah, that was a bit of an awkward f sentence. You just said wait. I guess I better prove I'm innocent. I'm innocent on the double. <laughs> on the double? You sound so determined, my old friend. Save Camilla in more ways than one. That's all there is to it. It's interesting. Couldn't he just effectively halt the execution just by saying, "Yeah, I, I, I renege my confession. I don't want to die anymore." Because that's really the only evidence they have on him, frankly. Well, I guess I also have the pistol he turned in, but the pistol wasn't even fired. Well, although he did say he did a few other things, so he, he could have faked a firing as well. I bet he did actually. That would make sense. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? She says you should be carrying it out tonight as planned. Should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The, the order still stands. We push her back immediately to resume the enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please, don't bow to me. Especially not that low. In that case, I have one of your buoys and range a prison van to pick him up. Would you be so kind? Oh, a buoy? Isn't that something that, like, 
is around ships? Maybe he just said, boy. That should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Escape tonight was brilliant. You show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row Inmate. Let's see if the shadow fired up. I feel like I'm under the gun here. The Linda's go through the proof of Jao's innocence. It's meaningless if Jao or Camilla dies. I do something about that kidnapping somehow. It was like the minister won't stop the execution. As long as there's any small chance that Dutter's the one who was kidnapped. Yeah, but she isn't the one! It would be great if we could prove that to the minister. We could go from here, right. The telephone works in both directions. I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, I miss a ghost? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change the situation. past five years, because it's the only thing that's kept me going. I can't go meekly in the chair now. I doubt this. Would you mind saving me? Alright. Well, then, like, obviously that... It's her apartment, but every time I've gone there recently, there's nothing I can do there. Interesting, why? Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. The last link in the long chain of sad fate it lit a fire in Zhao's heart. The chance to turn it all around is right here in the room. And a strange premonition. I mean, it happened so far tonight, it's related back to me in some way. I bet this mistake written abduction does too. Oh! I didn't think I'd have to save yet, but okay. I will save away. Okay, but with that, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you um, in the next one when we will continue into Chapter 13. I, I feel like we're getting, I don't know about towards the end, but I do feel like we've come over a hump or a crest, and the like story's really starting to advance and get into high gear now, which is awesome. See you next time, guys.